Hello and welcome to my double focus tutorial. Uh, it's a video effect in Premiere, uh, very popular in the late 80s, early 90s, this effect. So if you've got a, a video footage where something in the foreground's in focus, something in the background's in focus, uh, to try and get those two together without having a really small aperture is difficult. And this would actually work better either way. It's quite uh, arty, which is nice. Let's give it a try. So I've got two video clips, um, so the first one is this, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Uh, nothing particularly exciting happens during this video clip, it's just a short video clip where the door handle of the car is in focus and the building in the background is out of focus. And the other clip is this one, the only thing that's changed is the building in the background is out of is in focus and the car handle is out. It looks a bit blurry on that, but it, so trust me it is actually, yeah, it is actually sharp. So then what we do is we just want to put these two uh, clips uh, together, one on top of another, uh, layered together. So press plus on the keyboard to zoom in a little bit. Don't worry about the fact that one clip is longer than the other. And the aim really is to try and blend these two together so we get the focus of, of both things with the door handle and the building. You could garbage map this, but obviously a garbage map would have a solid edge to it, so that wouldn't work very well, so we need a soft edge to it. So to start on our path to getting this right, we've got to go up to title up at the top, new title and default still. Your little window will pop up and this, this will automatically uh, go to the resolution that you're working on. So you normally just click OK on that and it'll do fine. And then it'll come across with this. Normally you'd use this for text, but today we are going to use it to create a triangle. So a wedge as it's called on here. So click on that. And we need to make sure that the wedge is white, so that should default to that. If not, change it over on the right hand side. And then I'm just going to click and drag out a triangle, roughly like that. I want it to kind of run parallel with the edge of the car because we can resize it and shape it once we go in. But if the angle is right, it makes life a little bit easier. I can then close this little window that's popped up. And there it is in my project. So I can drag that above our video clip and we can see the triangles now sitting there. So we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to tell one of the video layers to use this white triangle as a mask. So if I go to the middle layer and I want to go to now to effects over here and the effect we're looking for is under video effects and keying and it's called a track matte key and you'll drag that onto the video clip. Okay, and then your next place to go to is Effects Controls, top left, if you've got it set up that way. And it's, hopefully you should see it there, Drag Mac, if you dragged it on correctly. And it will be asking you, where am I going to get this mask from? So currently it says none. So if I click on that, it gives me the option of Video 3. And because there's three layers, and the third layer being the triangle, layer 3 would be the white triangle. So if we click on that. And it has done something. It hasn't got it right yet. We've got a kind of blurry mess of everything at the moment because it's the wrong way around. So to fix that, the little box that says reverse underneath, take that. And we've suddenly got the building in focus and the door handle in focus. So it's actually beginning to get there, which is quite good. So now we can go back to the triangle layer so we can click on it in the timeline down here to make sure that's the one we're working on. We can go to motion up here in the top left and we can resize and move so I'm going to make it scale a little bit bigger and position I'm going to move it across so it runs along the edge of of the car so it now runs that way which is good we've still got a solid line on it which is really not going to work okay so we're going to go back down to your effects and on the search bit you could search for blur and you'll get a multiple options for blur. Gaussian blur is generally always the best one. It's pretty good Gaussian blur. And you'll find it in Photoshop as well. So drag that onto the triangle and then it'll pop up in the effects controls and uh, blurriness 0.0. .0. Obviously we're gonna uh, click on that, move the slider to the right and it will blend out that solid line. And there you go. We've gone from, if I just take that down, to zero, you can see the solid line on the right hand side on the actual image, and then it softens that out. And there you go, you've now got a uh, video footage where you've got double focus.